asshole. Ice Cream Driver is an asshole. I don't care if he's being controlled by the adults. Kids are a main proprietor of ice cream truck finances. Remember that giant winding road that goes up that cliff that didn't exist like six episodes ago? Because it's here and it's getting a sin. Care to tell me who got the bright idea to make the shortest member of the KND Sector V drive the truck? Heck, I don't even know how he's pushing the gas pedal. Access denied. Access denied. Being the team's medic, and that being a position that requires some intelligence, I don't know why number three thinks she can reason with a machine that is clearly displaying what it's trying to tell her. That's about a little hot fudge, sonny. Look, ice cream themed weapons is fine, but at least Sweet Tooth had decency. You're just wasting product. Even he doesn't waste his product, and he's a serial killer. We interrupt this episode of Codename Kids Next Door to bring you a weapon straight out of LEGO Racer 2. No joke, that thing was in LEGO Racer 2. A little torpedo that drills through the ground and fucks up with your opponent. And considering the Twisted Metal reference I made earlier, that seems oddly appropriate. Hey, number one, you might want to check this out. A roadblock. Quick, tell number four to turn the truck around. I am number four. Then who's driving? And this is why you don't get the short, dumb kid to drive, because, uh... Somehow he gets off the gas pedal that he couldn't touch earlier, and somehow the car is still driving at breakneck speeds. I don't know if you guys heard that, but one of those ice cream men just said, What a waste! So, the destroyed trucks wasn't a waste. All that fudge you poured out onto the road wasn't a waste. And the thing that went to waste was an entire truck and its driver. What the hell do you people consider a waste? Kids next door, Mosquito. Massively oversized, super quick, undercover, icy treat, transport on helio jets. I don't know what helio jets are, but, uh, no way in fucking hell is that thing undercover. You're flying in a giant mosquito-looking thing made from a sailboat. It is anything but covert. You might as well hang a sign that says, Come, shoot me out of the sky, I'm an asshole. Can anyone find the point for a limo-length ice cream truck? Because I can't seem to find it. Neither can I find a single fuck to give for why someone would do this. First, they refuse to stop ice cream trucks for any kids. Then, they lock all the soft serve away in cold storage so they can achieve their ultimate goal. A super huge ice cream party with no kids! Get out! Last! No. How many times do I have to say this? Kids are the main proprietors of ice cream sales. Why would you stop that? And adults, why would they eat it? Diabetes, that is a very bad thing to have. And if they're throwing an ice cream party just to spite the kids, then they're the assholes and this world really needs to reevaluate itself. Fuck it off! You can't go to that insidious party. There won't be any kids allowed. It always aggravated me how stupid and ditzy number three was in these earlier seasons. Like, he said, no kids allowed. What part of that don't you get? At least Pinkie Pie Pony, when she throws a party, she invites everybody and doesn't exclude anybody. I don't think. Oh, look at that. They're wasting even more fucking ice cream by using it as ammunition. Seriously. You keep it from the kids, which are your main source of income, and then you waste it. I know the adults are evil in this show, but they're also incredibly financially stupid. Number three, what are you typing? I love parties. Oh, you do too? Get out of the way. Five sins. You're getting shot at and you keep putting in the wrong password. Get your shit together. Why is number three even on the candy if she's this stupid? It's cold in here. Ah, come on, it's not that cold. The hell's that? No, 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 God. God damn it, the video is frozen. Hold on. Ah, where did I put that fire crystal?
Ah, here we go. Okay, video resumes. Falling once again into a trap set by the delightful children from down the lane. And wasting however many amount of dollars worth of ice cream products you could have sold and made a big killing. You are idiots. We interrupt this episode of Codename Kids Next Door to bring you Jack Frost. No, not the Michael Keaton one, the Killer Snowman one. Also, can we just address that the ki that the delightful children just made an elemental out of ice cream? They brought strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate to life, and just, if they have the technology, why waste it trying to kill a bunch of kids that can easily make you a whopping profit? Mm, so cold. Need a blanket. <laughs> okay, so fun fact about ice cream. You don't need the whole building to be chilled. You just put the ice cream into tanks and chill them. And by the looks of this factory, it looks like the entire majority of the factory is made for storing and chilling the ice cream. So I guess that makes sense that the whole building is cold. So number three is in like these buildings, but then where's all the other machinery that makes the ice cream? You can't just make a factory and just put giant storage tanks without showing us the machinations that made it. Considering there's no room since the majority of the factory is holding the ice cream, I don't know where this giant heater is, but even more surprising, or not, their air conditioning and heating units are actually flamethrowers. That is terrifying. As fun as this looks, keep in mind they're going to have to clean out their extra sticky clothes when they get back to their homes. So, lots of ice cream flooding the room. Not good. Hello, Mouse pissed off snow cone. <laughs>